Don't you hate it when people enter your room uninvited when you're not there? In this mission, we are going to program a room alarm with your micro bit. In this mission, we are going to make an alarm with the aid of an electrical circuit that circulates via your micro bit. The moment the circuit is broken, the micro bit sends an alarm signal to the speaker, and then you are warned that somebody is trying to sneak into your room. But what exactly is a closed electrical circuit? Let's take a look. Electricity is a stream of electrons. Electrons are particles with a negative electrical charge. They are so small that you cannot see them. If an electrical device is turned on, a stream of electrons runs through certain parts of that device. They form a circuit, also called a closed electrical circuit. An electrical circuit always has a source of electricity. This is often a battery. At the negative pole of the battery, there are many negatively charged electrons. Therefore, the negative pole has a negative charge. At the positive pole of the battery, there are just a few electrons and therefore the positive pole is charged positively. Electrons stream from the negative pole to the positive pole. They stream from the place with many electrons to the place with just a few electrons. If the electrical circuit is interrupted somewhere, then the currency cannot connect. An electrical device only works if the electrical circuit is closed. And that is how the room alarm works too. We are going to create a closed electrical circuit. The micro bit measures the voltage and it can detect if the electrical current is disrupted because the door opens. We connect the electrical circuit with two pieces of aluminum foil that touch each other as soon as the door is closed. If the door opens, then the electrical circuit is broken because they no longer touch each other. That is when the alarm signal is sent to the speaker, and you know that somebody is trying to enter your room. We're going to start with the writing of the code. Navigate with your browser to makecode.microbit.org and start a new project. We start with the making of a variable. A variable is a value or information that is saved in the memory of the computer. You can recall a variable at any time into your code, and the value of every variable can change. We create the variable alarm. I take from logic the block false and drag it to my code. Our alarm has two values, true or false. Your turn. We are now going to program the alarm. From input, I take the block on pin 0 released, drag it to my work field, and change pin 0 into pin 2. I duplicate the block, set alarm to false, place it, and change the false into true. Now I am going to add a loop. This is a piece of code that continues to run as long as it meets a certain criterion. Take the while do loop. Attach from logic 0 equals 0. Place my variable alarm in there and from logic the value true. Now I want my alarm to play a siren. 2 times the block play tone middle F for one beat. To make the alarm sound like a siren, I choose the pitches, middle F and middle B. Of course, you can set your own alarm, more, less, with different pitches. Now it reads, If the electrical circuit is interrupted, or pin 2 is released, then set the alarm to true. And as long as my alarm has the value true, in other words, as long as the alarm sounds, the loop continues and the alarm will sound. Finally, I add another loop. Duplicate the alarm equals true block and place both inside the forever block. If the alarm is activated, my micro bit shows this icon. Your turn. Pause this video and program your code.
The alarm is done. Only now I have to be able to leave the room or be able to turn off the alarm. So I am going to add a piece of code. From input, I take on button A pressed and change the A into A plus B. From logic, I place an if then else statement into it and duplicate this alarm equals true. Place it after if. Duplicate set alarm to false and place this after then. After else, I place a pause block and set the pause to 5 seconds or 5000 milliseconds. Again, duplicate set alarm to false and attach this under the pause and change the value to true. Now it reads, if I press A and B at the same time, then if the alarm is sounding, then turn it off. If the alarm does not sound, wait 5 seconds and turn it on or ready. You can also add a pictogram, then you know for sure if your alarm is set. Now program your code. The code is done. Connect your micro bit to your computer with your USB cable. Name your script, save it, and download it. Drag the hex file to your micro bit. Disconnect your micro bit. Connect the speaker using two crocodile clips to pin 0 and ground. Create an electrical circuit by connecting one crocodile pin to pin 2 and the other one to ground. Connect your batteries and test your code. Now install everything at the door. Take two pieces of aluminum foil and attach them to the door one on the door post on the inside and one on the top ridge of the door. You have to make sure that they touch when the door is closed, otherwise the circuit will not be closed later on. Also, make sure that they do not touch anymore when the door opens. Connect every crocodile clip with a piece of aluminum foil. Time to test it. Press the buttons A and B at the same time. Wait for 5 seconds and open the door. To stop the alarm, turn it off by pressing the buttons A and B at the same time. Did it work? That's terrific! From now on, your room is safe from unwanted visitors. See you at a next mission!